Our devotional chart this morning will be taken from the book of Luke, chapter 19, verse 1 to 10. And I will quickly read why my brother will also read to us after. And Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, which was the chief among the publishers, and he was rich. And he sought to see Jesus, who he was, and could not for the press, because he was little in stature. And he ran before and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must, I must abide at thy house. And he made haste and came down and received him joyfully and when they saw it they all murmured saying that he was come to be guest with a man that is a sinner and Zacchaeus stood and said unto the Lord behold Lord the half of my goods I give to the poor and if I have taken anything from any man by false accusation I restore his him fourfold and Jesus said unto him, This day is salvation come to this house, for so much as he also is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. Yesu ajera iyeriko arahanyura nuko hariho umunu witwa gazakayo. Yari umukoresha wikora mukuru kandi yari umutunzi ashaka kureba Yesu ngo amenye kwasa ariko ni yabibasha kuko abantu bari benshi kandi ari mugufi ari rukanka ajimbere yurira umuvumu ngo amurebe kuko yaragiye kunyuraho Yesu ahageze ararama aramubwira ati zakayo Ururuka vuba kuko uyu munsi nkwiriye kurari wawe yururuka vuba amwakira nezerewe abantu bose babibonye barabyivovotera bati dorere agiye kucumbika ku munyabyaha maze zakayo arahaguruka abwira umwami Yesu ati dore data buja umugabane wa kabiri w'ibintu byanje ndawuha bakene kandi umuntu wese nambuye ndabimuha ndawi muri hakane Yesu arambugira ati uyu munsi agakiza kaje muri yinzu kuko nawe uri umwana wa Abraham kandi umwana w'umuntu yazanywe no gushaka no gukiza icyari cyarazimiye Amen Amina As I was looking up unto the Lord on what to share with us this morning on the devotional charge. The Lord impressed in my heart to share with us what I tag divine encounter with Jesus. I believe that the Lord in his mercy actually gathered all of us here these two days to have a unique and genuine encounter with him. The theme of this conference is the making of a spiritual leader. Uh, 
we see severally in the scripture that every man that God makes actually starts with him encountering the man. The making of a spiritual leader cannot actually start if a man will not be conquered by God. The word encounter in a simple meaning actually implies a counteracting of two parties coming into collision. It's a counteracting collision with two parties. So, when we talk about a man having an encounter with God, we're saying that that man is coming to a place where God is, you know, impacting that life. So to come into a place of divine encounter with God, means that you are coming to a point where you, there is an impact that God has impact upon your life. It implies that God impacts your life in such a way that your ways, your direction are changed. The kind of encounter that we're talking about, you can compare it with an accident. You know, when, it, when two vehicles have an accident, we take them to collision center. And usually, and usually, accidents are not planned, they are sudden, and they are something that causes a major damage in one or two parties involved. There, there are usually unexpected. Our heart desire this two days is that each and every one of us that were here, that we will have a genuine encounter with God. And encounter that creates an indelible mark upon our lives. An indelible knife upon our, not only in our lives, but in the direction of what we are doing. I'm trusting the Lord that we will not just leave this conference and go back to what we were doing before as if nothing happened. The desire of God for bringing all of us here is to collide with us. 
Idukoreho. And change our ways and change our directions. Noneho ihindure imikorere yacu, ihindure nimigendo here that we have just read. Hari ibintu bice ya ntekereza mwuka w'Imana nimo kutuyobora kugira ngo tubyigiye muri inkuru ya Zakayo na Yesu. Zacchaeus was a big man. Oyo mugabo Zakayo yari umuntu ukomeye. He was very rich. And everything was going well with him in the physical. But the Bible says in verse 3 that he sought to see Jesus. Who he was. And he could not. But for the press. Now, the, the more recent translation of the Bible, for instance, the good news, gives us a better clarity of that verse, verse 3. And I'll read verse 3 for us in good news. It says, he was trying to see who Jesus was, but he was a little man, and could not see Jesus because of the crowd. We saw two issues from this particular verse. One is external. One is external, outside. The second issue is internal, is genetic. The first, the first entrance to Zacchaeus in this place is that there was a lot of people, crowd. The crowd usually makes it difficult for a man to have a personal encounter with God. The multitude is always a challenge. A lot of people were around Jesus, following Jesus, but they have never met Jesus. You know, a lot of pastors, leaders, uh, because of the fact that they are in the, cr- in the midst of the crowd that they are, are their people, many times, even if they are going through challenges and difficulties in life, they are hindered from having a personal encounter because of the crowd. I thank God for the life of each and every one of us here. That God has drawn us out of the crowd that we hinder us from encountering God. You know, when a, the word of God is coming forth in a pastor's church, even if that word is hitting him very hard and he needs to repent, because of his people, he would rather supervise other people repenting and he will not do it. He will guide others to enter into their eternal destination and he himself, because of the crowd, is not able to do it. So God in his mercy had actually drawn all of us into this place wherein you know, there is no concern about what will people say. 
None ho impamvu Imana yaduteranirije hano yatuzanye hano kugira ngo tuze guhura nayo hanyuma tutaza kureba amaso yaba tuyoye ngo tuvuge ngo nibambo ni mbere baraza kuvuga iki You know the challenge of the crowd is that for many people that have already gone ahead that have you know risen through the rank and they are already leaders the challenge for them is that hey how will people see me what will people say about me going to the altar to go and re, to go and respond to altar call no i will rather pretend as if everything is all right rero nk'abantu babashumba babayobozi bamaze kugera ku rwego rwo hejuru iki gerageze bakunda guhura nacyo cyambere ni nabantu babazengurutse iyo habayeho kumva ko bakoze icyaha ntago bashora kujya imbere y'abantu ngo ba ihane cyangwa se imbere y'Imana ngo bihane ko baravuga ngo abantu baraza kumbona bate abonyoboye so the response of Zacchaeus to solve the first problem here is to leave the crowd and isolate he isolated himself and went ahead of the crowd and climbed onto the sycamore tree None ho rero igisubizo tubona hano muri inkuru ya Zakayo Zakayo yiteandukanyije n'ikivunge cy'abantu arangije aritarura azamuka igiti cy'umuvumu My brother my sister I want to encourage you I want to beg you by the mercies of the Lord that you do not miss your encounter here Mwene data mushiki wanje ndashaka kukwinginga kubwa imbabazi z'Imana ngubwo waje hano utaza gutakaza amahirwe yawe yo guhura n'Imana have you left the crowd and run ahead to come to this isolated place do not miss the encounter that god has ordained for you kuba avuye mu iteraniro rinini uyoboye ukaba waje hano kugira ngo uze guhura n'Imana ndakwinginga we gutaho ko waje uhure n'Imana yawe hano hano The second challenge that we see in this particular verse is that Zacchaeus was a short man. Ikindi kigeragezo turimo kubona muri inkuru nuko Zakayo yari mugufi. He was both short physically and short spiritually. Yari mugufi mu buryo bugaragara mu mubiri kandi akongera kaba mugufi mu buryo bwo mu mwuka. It's not a problem that he was short physically because he had a solution to that. He climbed the tree. Ariko ikibazo gikomeye yarafite nago cyari cyo bugufi bwo ukagaragara kuko yakiboneye yisubizo ubwo yazamukaga umuvumu. But the spiritual shortness could not be addressed by Zacchaeus. Ariko ikibazo cyo cy'ubugufi bwe bwo mu mwuka ntago we yajyaga kukibonera igisubizo kugitike he had no solution for the spiritual shortness nta gisubizo yari afite cy'ubugufi bwo mu mwuka you know the bible says in romans 3:23 bibiliya iravuga mu baroma 23:23 the scripture says in that place that all have sinned cyo cyanditswe kiravuga ngo kuko bose baracumuye and come short of the glory of god so every man that is a sinner is a short man before god a man can be tall physically a man can be highly respected in the society Umuna ashobora kuba yubashwe neza cyane mu bantu a man can even be a senior pastor Umuna ashobora no kumushumba mukuru that everybody honors and following in front of him running around him buri muntu wese mwitorero yoboye bakamwubaha bose ugasanga baramuzengurutse baramukikije I know some of my colleagues back uh, in Toronto nzi rero bamwe bagenzi banje inshuti zanje muri Toronto muri Canada that we used to be just brothers brothers in those days um mimi yashi ze yakera twari inshuti twara bavandimwe but they are now general overseers ariko noneho men general overseers ariko ubu babaye abayobozi bakuru bamatori some of them are now bishops bamwe muri bo babaye aba bishops some of them are now regional pastors bamwe muri bo nabakuriye turere nkabashumba bakuriye turere and when they are going for a function 
you have at least four people in suit with black goggles in front and four at the back baba fite rero ba abantu babita bakanyama baba gimbere ba bari ibyuma neza baba gimbere bamba ya marinete yirabura babiri imbere babiri nyuma and the guy walks in the middle of them noneho uwo mugabo akagenda hagati muri bo like a king agenda nk'umwami you can't even touch him you can't even reach him nago amukoraho na nubwo wamugeraho so when such a person you know is walking around people are people are buying land like this in front of him people are buying land in front of him like this and when i remember one of the occasions that he saw me and he just stretched out his hand and just greeted me and the boys were looking around that ah, ah, why are they greeting each other casually Hanyuma umunsi umwe nigeze guhura nabo hanyuma turabarabana na hanyuma batangira gutangara kubera iki basuhuza abantu mu buryo busanzwe and i looked at i said these boys didn't know that Ed, he's just a regular brother kuko ndanyuze ndavuga ngewe nzi ko ari umuvandimwe wanje ari mwene data usanzwe but he has not i will i won't say that he has met christ because we did not see that in Christ. Christ did, not, Christ did not have entourage when he was walking. He didn't have bodyguard that will not even allow men to touch him. So you may be a big man in front of people and very tall and huge. But the scripture say when we compare you to the glory of God you are a short man you are a short man Unfortunately many are heading churches today Many are leading congregations today. And being paraded as celebrities. But before God, in the evaluation of the heavens, they are regarded as short men. Amen. Amina. Jesus looked at him. Yesu aramureba. And he said, Zacchaeus. Aramgango Zakayo. Come down. Manuka. You will see that in verse 4, verse 5, it might be read that to you again. Bible says that he ran before and climbed up to the sycamore tree to see him. For he was to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste, come down, for today I must abide in thy house. ajimbere, yurira, yurira umuvumu, ngwa amurebe kukwera jie kunyuraho. Yesu ahajeze, ararara maramu girati, Zakayo, ururu kavuba, Jesus called him by his name. I wonder who told Jesus that Zacchaeus is actually his name. But the Bible says in John 2, 23, 24, that Jesus knew all men. He needed no one to introduce men to him. So he knew Zacchaeus. And he called him by his name. Today I'm trusting the Lord that he will call you, he will call me by my name. 
Uyu munsi ndiringira imana yuko imana ibuze kumpamagara ikaguhamagara mu izina ryawe no mu izina ryanjye He knows your name he knows your situation even things that men your church member all around they are not aware he knows everything about you Imana irakuzi izi zina ryawe izi mutima wawe izi byunyuramo byose izi bibazo byawe byose ndetse nibya uyoboye batazi ariko byo imana byose rabizi And I'm praying that when the call will be coming that we will respond like Zacchaeus did that we will not allow anything to hinder us from responding to the call of the master you know the Lord has shown us from yesterday clearly that unmade men cannot do the work of God. So this was why he said unto Peter and the apostles you know, in, in the book of Matthew 4, 19, he said, follow me and I will make you and he said I believe the heavenlies have opened a book of enrollment for these two days and they are looking at men and women here who will write down their name in the Roman book to say I am writing down my name to enroll in the process of making Ndimana sengi imana nizera imana ngo niba haze kubaho muhamagara kuvuga ngo izina ryanjye ryandikwe muri babandi bagiye guhindurwa ndaza nange kwiyandikisha muri abo biteguye guhindurwa when the call will be coming from roll to roll from high to high i beg you in the name of jesus that you do not consider your environment or anybody but that you will run down and enlist your name in the register that has been opened in the heavenlies for men that wants to be made. Ndimana senga ngoni umvu muhamagaro uturute mngijuru imhande zikuchichi rezose ukumvishgiri guhamagara rihamagara avanu viteguye kuyandichisha mujitawo chiri mngijuru bumba waftinzara ninyo tayogu hindurwa ndagusawa ngonao uyandichisha murabu. The instruction of the master here is that Zacchaeus, he called him by his name. Secondly, he said, make haste. This matter requires urgency. We heard severally that it took 40 years for God to remake Moses into the man that he can use. But you and I, we know that we don't have 40 years. Some of us are already advanced in age. So this matter of making cannot be procrastinated, cannot be postponed. There is a haste in the spirit that I'm sensing. He said, make haste. And he said, come down. One of the challenges that I've seen in the lives of people who have missed their encounter is that they have refused to come down. Every man that God used in the scripture, they came down from their exalted position. 
buri muntu wese wari ugiye gukoreshwa n'Imana yavuye mu mwanya we ku rwego rwo hejuru yararimo aca bugufi kugira ngo yemere gukoreshwa n'Imana no matter who you are no matter what your level no matter level of education or position you have in the church you must come down if God will enroll you in this process of making ntacho bivuze icyo waburi cyo cyose umwanya wabufite mu rusengero amashuri waba warize ni wumva uyu muhamagaro kuguhamagara nguze wiyanicishe mu bantu biteguye guhindurwa n'Imana wemera uce bugufi bita mu muhamagaro Humble thyself before the Lord and in due time he will exalt you wowe icishe bugufi imbere y'Imana isumba byose mu gihe gikwiriye izakuzamura the bible says a contrite and humble spirit god will not despise bibiliya ivuga ngo abantu bafite imiti miciye bugufi imenetse imana nizigera yirengagiza i want to encourage us that do not allow status your position whoever would be, no matter what you have known up till now that you put all that you have known up to now aside and humble yourself to enroll in this making process nani horero urwego umaze kugeraho rwose ibyo umaze gukora byose nibyo umaze kugeraho byose ndagusaba ngo ni wumva uyu muhamagaro ubishyire ku ruhande use naho byibagiwe witaba uyu muhamagaro wo gutangira guhindurwa n'Imana and we saw the response of Zacchaeus in verse 6 he said and he made haste twabonye rero uburyo Zakayo yitabiye itabye yarihuse aramanuka and came down aramanuka and received him joyfully None who yakira umwami Yesu anezerewe I want to encourage us this morning that we we make it like Zacchaeus Ndashaka kwashishikereza muri iki gitondo mwese ko muri buze kwitaba uyu muhamagaro mwihuse nkuko Zakayo yabikoze and come down and receive this great offer from the lord hanyuma mumanuke aho mwari muri mu byubahiro byanyu muze mwakire aya mahirwe Yesu abahaye you can see clearly here that one other thing that i want to point out is that Zacchaeus program from that day was interrupted nene rero ndagira ngo murebe neza muri cyo cyanditswe uwo munsi zakayo gahundaze nimibereho ye yose yaravangiwe if he had appointment to go and see somebody he had plans to do one other things the lord is coming to, a, to his house nothing has mattered again neneho niwe rafite gahunda yo kujya kubonana n'abakoresha bikora bagenzi be gusura abandi bantu basanzwe gahunda zose yarafite ntacyo zari zikivuze imbere ye zose yarazihagaritse I have seen several in the scripture that men that God uses he actually interrupts them. Narabibonye inshuro nyinshi mu byanditswe muri Bibiliya haravuga ngo abantu bose Imana yakoresheje mu mateka yabanze kubatoza no kubahindura no kubaha ibyangombwa kugira ngo bashe kwikorera. I don't know how I found myself in Kigali Rwanda today if not for the interruption of the Lord. Sinzi buryo nari kwisanga hano mu mujyi wa Kigali uyu munsi ye ntaza kuba narahuye n'Imana ikangira uwo ndiwe I'll probably be running after dollars you know all around the city of Toronto Canada running from one place to the other if not for the interruption of the master Iyo Imana itaza kuvangira gahunda zanje ikanchira muri gahunda zayo ubunakabaye ndi muri Toronto muri Canada nirukanka nshakisha amadolari hirya no hino nkwa yataye God interrupted his life Imana yaraje ivangira zakayo muri gahunda ze zose but in, re, in in place of that Jesus Christ not only came into his life it became a, a, it became a a, 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 a a serious household encounter Nimeho rero no muri zo gahunda ze zose yishe nibiki byose amaze guhura na Yesu ntago byahinduye ubuzima bwe ahubwo byahinduye n'ubuzima bwe yawe mu rugo bose nabari batuyiwe as we continue today and wrap up for the program today 
dukomeza uyu munsi dusoza gahunda y'uyu munsi I'm going to ask us to pray now as I will close this session Nago ndimo gusaba ngo usenge turimo gusoza inyigisho y'iki gitondo And my prayer is that may it not be our portion that we will waste the encounter that God desires for us for the students Isengesho ndimo gusenga no kugira ngo buri muntu wese waje hano ataza gutakaza amahirwe yo kwihurira n'Imana kugitike muri iminsi ibiri yaduteranirije hano God has brought you and I here Imana yaduhamagaye gye nawe hano to collide with us kugira ngo ikugire ikikora mu buzima bwacu I am begging God for my own life Nange ndimo ndizera Imana kugwanje ubuzima bw'imindura that even in the midst of this program that I will not go back the same. That I myself will have a genuine encounter with Christ. And I'm praying that this will be the hard desire of all of us. That we will experience him in a new way, in a fresh way. It will be a waste of time. It will be a waste of time and resources if all that we have done is just to do a conference and we just return back to where we are as if nothing happened if you waste an encounter with God today you may have to you may waste several years just grouping in the in wilderness until you come back you know, to meet him again sometime. Jacob encountered God in Bethel in Genesis 26. Rather than submitting to what God wanted to do for his life, he wasted that experience. He had to come back 20 years after. After so many damages, irreparable damages have happened in his life. He came back 20 years later where he now had a genuine encounter with God with his ties dislocated. My brother, you don't have to wait for another 20 years. You don't have to wait for another 10 years. God has brought you here to meet with you. And he's saying that, look, I can make you I want to make you who I ordained from the beginning to, to make out of your life. Apart from the initial encounter of salvation, I have noted that severally God at different points want to encounter his people whether it is a divine call to service or to move them closer to him so this divine encounter that I am talking about don't mistake it for the understanding of A is for people who have not given their life to Christ. You, you will be missing it. I pray that 
the Lord will help you and I. That we will not miss the encounter that he has prepared for us for this weekend. Maybe many many of us went back yesterday. And we said, oh, that was a wonderful teaching. Oh, the speaker spoke eloquently. We have never had this kind of things before. But I want you to move beyond the level of excitement. And, and cry to God for your life. That this conference will bring an indelible mark. Upon your life and upon my life, that we will not recover from it for many years. That the kind of collision that will happen to you and I. We will not recover from it. I want us to rise up and pray. I'd like us to talk to God. I'd like us to talk to the Lord. I'd like us to cry to him. Lord, I don't want to miss the encounter that you have prepared for me for this weekend. You are the one that I have come to meet. You are the one that I have come to engage. Lord, may I not miss it. Let's open our mouth to pray. Let's open our mouth to pray. We see the result of Zacchaeus' encounter in that scripture. That when he had a genuine encounter with Christ, every works of darkness in his life was immediately exposed. There was a genuine repentance. There was restitution. And there was restoration. This was the mark of his encounter. I like us to cry to God that God will bring us to a place of genuine encounter that will, that will result into genuine repentance that will, that will result into a change in direction that will result into restoration in our lives. And this will not just be for us only. It will extend to members of our family. And it will extend to our congregation. And the revival that we are crying for in Rwanda will spring forth. And disciples will begin to multiply. Let's cry to God. Let's cry to God. Let's cry to God. Lord, we give you praise, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for bringing us out of the crowd and isolating us into this place. Lord, to meet with us and to engage us. Father, we lay it all at the feet of Jesus. Have your way, O oh God, today. Lord, have your way in our lives today. May we not waste this encounter with you, O oh God. May our life be changed radically for life in the name of Jesus. May we not recover from what you will do in these two days in our lives in the name of Jesus. Thank you, precious Lord. Blessed be the name, Lord.
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.